Hi, I'm Dr. Patrick Cohn with Peak Performance Sports at PeakSports.com. This is the Ask Doc section of my YouTube channel, Mindset for Sports. You can submit your question by going to PeakSports.com and click on Contact Us and let me know what your mental game challenges are and I'll try to answer them on this particular section of my YouTube channel. Here's the question for today. Matt, who is a junior tennis player, says, do you have any tips for regaining peak concentration or focus after a lapse halfway through a match? I seem to lose my focus in the second or third sets when I'm leading the match. And that's a key part for me of this question is, Matt's losing his focus when he's leading the match, most likely because he's either sitting on the lead, protecting the lead, or he gets too complacent. Sometimes when it's too easy for tennis players, and I see this a lot, I'm around junior tennis because my daughter plays junior tennis in the USTA uh, Florida region. I see players who will get up quickly, maybe four love, five love, and all of a sudden they get complacent. They stop working hard, they lose their focus. And then the other person gains momentum and wins a few games. And it becomes very unsettling for players. So there's a couple parts to this question that you have to pay attention to. The first is, I think, this is about a comfort zone and Matt being in a comfort zone. So Matt, if you're out there, you have to pay attention to the fact that you're going to, your tendency is to protect and to sit on a lead when you get that lead. I don't know if you're getting complacent. Um, I don't know if you're getting bored. I don't know if you're just out of your comfort zone. Whatever the case may be, one of the things you have to consider is that you have to find a challenge in that match. In other words, there's what's called the skills um, challenge balance. And if you don't feel challenged, if you feel bored, your concentration is likely to wander. So one of the things you can do is find a specific challenge for you, such as maybe to hit an ace, or to hit a couple winners in one game, for example, or win a game, win a 40 love game, for example. Um, those are some ideas to get you to continue to play aggressive tennis, continue to focus. Let's face it, sometimes if a match is too easy and you're up, it's difficult to maintain that focus. So you want to stay aggressive, set some real difficult goals for yourself to challenge yourself so you can get back into the match. The other thing you have to pay attention to is I think this is partly a comfort zone question in that you're sitting on the lead. You get up, you don't want to blow the lead, so then you don't play aggressive once again. You don't hit your normal shots. You might have a tendency to play more to the center of the court, maybe even push the ball back. Um, some players do that when they get into the lead. They start just pushing the ball back. They wait for their opponent to make a mistake. So instead of just playing defensive at that point, you have to continue to play the style and the tactics that got you in the lead in the first place. Don't let up. Try to end the points as quick as you can without being crazy, of course. Hit some winners out there. Keep going for your shots and hit out on the ball. If you want more information about tennis psychology, check out my new program called Tennis Confidence, Mental Toughness for Tournament Players. That's my CD and workbook program that you can find at peaksports.com. Just Google Tennis Confidence, Mental Toughness, and you'll find it. That's all for today. I'm Dr. Patrick Cohn with Peak Performance Sports.